Steelers are red. Hey guys and welcome back to the fans perspective in today's video we're on our way back to Rodden Road to watch the Robins versus the Robins that is right Cheltenham Town versus Bristol City it didn't exactly go Cheltenham's way against Plymouth but they're playing another high caliber championship side to see how they can prove themselves before the season coming up on paper Bristol seem to have gone full strength in defence, whereas Cheltenham are offering a number of players some first minutes for the season, including two players which have only signed today. Levi at the back, it's going to be interesting to see what he can bring to the table, and also Bowman finally getting some minutes up top. He's finally joined the Robins after being rumoured with us only a couple seasons ago. And yeah, I think I've got to get to the ground. Starting off, we've got some predictions. So lads, I'll go one by one by you. What do you think the score is going to be? I think I'll solid 2-1 for the Cheltenham. Okay. 3-2. 1-0 no Cheltenham. 3-1 Cheltenham. 2-0 Cheltenham. 2-0 no Cheltenham. No Cheltenham. Well, we're a little bit more confident than we were last time. Hopefully we can get something anyway. Great news all around the stadium today. The weather, the sun is gleaming. The fans are confident. The new signings coming in the door. All we need now is some excellent football. <laughs> Well, well, well. Well, we've already conceded one and now he's giving away a penalty. He's having a shocker of a pre-season. <laughs> Excellent penalty, to be fair, the keeper's dived the right way, but he smashed it into the bottom corner, no saving those, and yeah, they thoroughly deserve their lead. It's only four minutes in, and oh, it looks like it's going to be a whitewash. Is a red bar to Taylor, is a red! City have had more close misses in a Bond film. It's getting embarrassing out there. Somehow it's just scraping the post and yeah, we should be about four or five nil down at this point. A massive shout out to the Argentines bringing the support though. Oh, and there they are again, somehow with even more energy. 45 minutes played at Cheltenham Town nil, Bristol City 2. And from a Cheltenham perspective, it's been quite torturous, to be fair. Sinclair Armstrong, he obviously got the first goal, and I think he's really impressed. A great start for Bristol City today. Obviously, Matty Taylor getting some love from the Cheltenham and Bristol City fans. Obviously, the chance saying they'll go on the pitch if he scores. Let's hope he does. The most hectic part about Cheltenham today has been the, I believe, Argentinian fans in the stand opposite us. They've been jumping around and enjoying themselves, even though it's not been the greatest of performance. Hopefully, I seem to be repeating this word all the time, Cheltenham can get something 
in the second half because it's not been the greatest. But nevertheless, we've enjoyed ourselves and uh, yeah, it's always great being back at Wadham Road. So, are we still confident at halftime? Yeah, um, what did you think of the first half? You definitely watched all of it. Absolutely shocking. A goal within the first minute. There's a lot of words I can use to that first half, but let's just go with shocking. There's another word with S, but let's not go with that. Um, yeah, uh, five numbers, I see. It wasn't our best performance, but yeah, I can probably agree with that too. So here we are. Got Matt a mess with me today, right? Matt, I've got a big question for you, mate. Are we going to win the league? National League South? Yes. <laughs> the start of the second half brings the introduction to Ryan Bowman and he looks fresh from the beginnings, but I must say halftime was definitely the most fun I've had all game. Ever since he came on, he's been rock solid. So, cheers, Levi. Keep it up. And on the lines of appreciation, what a performance by Sinclair Armstrong, truly one for the future. The start of the second half, we really sat back and it was about damage limitation, but I must say we've defended amazingly. Number five, Levi, you, you've been phenomenal at the back. And obviously we haven't seen any more goals. And now with the clock ticking down, we're giving a few people some minutes and we've actually had a couple of attacking opportunities. So compared to the first half, I've been quite happy with this one, even though there's not been the most action. I think they call that commentator's curse. So, Mr. Finney Donaldson, what did you think of the game? So, you know, it was a, you know, it's just pre season friendly, got to get the shift in for the lads. Um, I mean, Chatham Town's opened me with welcome arms so far, so uh, it's just getting on training, doing well for the team, and we can hopefully kick on next season. Obviously, the result didn't go our way, but it was nice to see you know, a good start for the new signings. You know what, yeah, obviously Warren Bowman came in today. Uh, he's always been a good lad, obviously a close sign this last season, but uh, ever since then, he's always been on the books and it's just so good work, working with like an experienced forward like that. He, he brings a lot of value to the team and a lot of experience, so if we can kick on. The last thing I've got to say is, well, we played some decent championship opposition. Next time we've got Northampton, do you think we can maybe at least get some? I know it's pre-season results that really matter, but... You know, it's a championship side, that's what you've got to think about. Um, they have a lot of better qualities, like Naki Wales, 3.5 million, <laughs> baller. Um, and uh, you know what? Northampton could just be another game. Full time, Bristol City 3, Cheltenham Town 0. Another 90 in the bag, which unfortunately did not go the way of the Robins. It was a brilliant performance from the away side. They really played us off the park in the first 45. In the second, like I said, it was much improved. We sat back and we put in some decent challenges. Some great first few minutes for some of the new signings. But yeah, it's what all you can really hope for in the start of pre season. If you guys did enjoy the video, if you wouldn't mind smashing that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you know when the video goes live. Drop a comment down below exactly <laughs> what you guys and I hope to bring many more videos to you guys just like this in the future. I'm looking forward to the season. There's a lot of things coming, including the cheeky documentary. But without further ado, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. Oh.